USA on many of these conventions in terms of the role that we play in terms of negotiating. And then we get into a pretty embarrassing situation um, that we don't ratify them. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we move on. And the stakes are pretty high in this war. Many of you talked about climate change. You know, in September, there's going to be a climate summit at the United Nations where leaders are coming together to really kind of behind the scenes talk about how are they addressing this. In Paris, in 2015, there is a huge climate meeting. It's called the COP, Convention of Parties. And bottom line is this, if we can't get a good agreement out of that meeting, we're, we're, it's going to be pretty much too late. Time is running out on our ability to be able to mitigate the amount of greenhouse gases that are being released into our atmosphere. We're running out of time on this. Matter of fact, it, it's, it's already, you know, climate change is here. And we know, you know it here in California, um, I think pretty well in terms of the drought that you have seen. The weather uh, extremes that are going on is really showing that this is happening. So we need the capacity to do this and we can't do it alone. We just cannot do it. You know, Secretary of State John Kerry, he was recently, he gave a speech in Indonesia where he just talked about that we need a global solution, that the U.S. could do all the recycling in the world, do all of the reduction of, of emissions in the world, and it still won't make a difference if other countries won't be part of it. And, it, and the fact that we are not able to agree to and uh, ratify these treaties that we are not, have not been part of is ridiculous. And I just want to have, share with you a little how ridiculous, and I'm not going to do it. I have someone better to do it um, who I think uh, you will uh, know, uh, a, a very uh, well-known political commentator by the name of John Stewart. This is on the disability treaty.